Cumberland Blues, Dead and Company, 12 30 2019 San Francisco. Great, great show. Jeff Cementi killing it on the keys. Uh, welcome to our Ovelina Toilet Bidet review. I didn't see uh, like a uh, owner review online, so we decided to make this because we really like this bidet. We decided to get this. First of all, we were redoing our bathroom anyway. Um, and then uh, the pandemic came. We didn't have any toilet paper. So we thought a bidet is a good idea. Bidets were like 300 bucks online. This whole toilet, which the design wise I think is phenomenal, was only 1100 bucks. And that compares to like a Toto or a Kohler for, God, Jeff is killing it on the keys. A Kohler or, or, or a Toto for like, you know, $9,000. So I mean, you could get the Kohler for 40, 4,500, but anyway. We love it and I thought we'd show you some uh, functionality. I installed it myself, no problem. I thought it was very easy install. Um, just learned stuff from YouTube videos. People are great. Um, and uh, the only problem I've had is getting my half inch supply line here hooked up to this three quarter inch supply line for the, for the bidet. So we use this uh, thing here um, which is an inelegant solution to go to there. I don't know what this is. We don't know. I've reached out to Ove for some clarification and for some help getting this valve put onto our American half inch supply line. This may be metric. I'm not sure. Ove is a Canadian company. We're in Los Angeles. So anyway, we'll tell you about the uh, functionality here. So you got a bunch of lights on the back of the toilet. This little light here, uh, the red one, that means the power is on. This orange one here, the leaf, that means that it's in echo mode, so it's not using quite as much power, heating water and so forth. The green light here for the little water droplet and the thermometer gauge is showing you that this is the coolest water temperature other than off. So if it were orange, it would be a little bit warmer. And if it were red, it would be at its hottest mode. This one is the toilet seat showing you the toilet seat temperature. And so it's green, orange, and red, coolest to hottest. And this is just showing you that somebody's sitting on the toilet. Now there's no one sitting on the toilet, but we put a wet rag on there so we could show you the incredible functionality of the bidet itself. This is cool, we love it. Okay, so I will start with the Lady Bidet this time. And um, I'm gonna push, just say you're in there, you did your business, you wanna clean yourself off, ladies. Push this little button here. Once, it turns the blue light on. Twice, it will send out the wand. Now the wand, first, it cleans itself before it even comes out. And then it starts to shoot up. Now, if you want to move the wand forward or back, you can um, you you can push this button, and you can see that it's moving. Can you see that on the video? Mm -hmm. That it's moving the thing forward and back. Now. If you push this button here, oh, this one is the air jet. So if I push that, it's gonna turn off the air jet, make it a little bit softer. And then this button here will uh, change the power of the jet. So it will make it like a little bit, you know, stronger or softer, uh, depending on, on your preference. Now, if you push this Lady Bidet thing twice, it will, Start moving it forward and back. Let me get a close-up of that, so that so that you just yeah just have to stop. So so that it washes you forward and back. And the same thing is true of the uh, rear bidet function. It's basically all the same functionality, but instead of the water coming out of that front nozzle, it's coming out of the the little back nozzle there. Exactly the same. I don't think we need to go through it. So next, uh, 
once you're done with that, you're all clean, you're happy, um, you hit this button here, which is the fan dryer. So you gotta turn, hit it once, it turns on the lights, then, then when you hit it again, it changes the function. You can see that as it draws the wand in, it wa washes water over it so it cleans it. And then it brings out the little dryer. When the dryer comes out, the dryer can be pretty hot when it comes out. So you have a temperature control for the dryer. Now if you push the temperature control, and this is the same with all the controls. If I push this, first it's got to come on, the light's got to come on. Then you push it once, and you hear that beep, that means that it's at its coolest setting. If you hit it again, now listen to the double beep. That means that uh, it's a little bit warmer, and if you hit it on a triple beep, that means it's hottest setting, which is probably gonna melt the plastic, so I'm gonna turn that off. So that's, that, and then this also has, if you hit this a second time, it will move the, the dryer in and out and dry your whole bum. It's really pretty freaking cool, man. Now, if you're sitting on there and you want the toilet seat to be a little warmer, you can hit this thing, boom. Look, that's gone to orange. Now the toilet seat's a little bit warmer. You can hit it again. Boom, now it's hot. Maybe you live in a cold climate. You want that warm bum, whatever. You know, don't want a cold ass. There you go, you can change it to whatever you want. I'm gonna hit it again. Now it turns it off. Now you can just sit on your cold ass toilet seat, but I'm never doing that again the rest of my life. And um, there you go. Okay, so now this thing, it's dried off your bum and you wanna stop it, you ju just hit the stop button here. That little red button will stop it. And draw it back in. And then anytime you wanna flush the toilet, you can just hit this. And it flushes, it will flush automatically. Uh, I want to say one thing about this light. There's a blue light in there. It is a LED, um, it's an LED 460 nanometer. I measured it because I happen to have a very fancy light meter. 460 nanometer uh, UV LED. So that level of UV will kill pathogens. Um, theoretically, if a coronavirus landed right in the middle of that hot spot, it would kill the coronavirus. Um, uh, overall, it's not like a super great UV light like you might have at a, some military lab, but it works uh, to some degree to kill pathogens, so we really like it. Okay, so that is about it. So that's the Obey Lima toilet. I gotta say, man, that design, $1,100 for something as cool and uh, remarkable, I, I think it's remarkable because your next level up is is uh, Kohler. I'm sure it's better, but is it three thousand, four thousand dollars better? I don't see how it could be. Anyway, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Dead and Company Oteal now. Love these guys. Thank you. <laughs>